welcome back to another video in this video I'm going to be doing a couple of bits we're going to change the spark plugs in the Audi TT and then we're going to whiz over and see another guy who's got a rattle in his car and we're going to see if we can plug the OBD 11 in and see check if like chain stretch and stuff like that and just generally have a look at it and see if we can see anything obvious which is causing his rattle so let's crack on with the video and let's get these plugs fitted first before we shoot over there So these are the plugs we're going to be fitting, the laser NGK Laser Platinums, that's the part number, don't know if it's coming up or not, there you go, yes. these ones fit in, Laser Platinum, so first things first, let's whip off these two little screws here that are holding the wiring down for the coils, so let's get that off. So these are a T20, let's get these off, so get these straight off. So that's all off now, so now we need to try and get these plugs all off without anything breaking. So I just loosen them all a little bit each. Like that. Let's move that out of the way. And then we try and pull these out and we do one at a time. one out so we'll do, we'll do one plug at a time 16 mil socket well spark plug socket I've seen so many different torque settings with these but I'm gonna go with 30 I've seen 25 30 so I'm gonna go with 30 30 newton meters That one done. Let's move on to the next one. Make sure these are all push firmly down. And then we line up these like that. Right, so all the plugs are in, the coils are in. I'm just going to start up before I bolt down the electrical connector just to make sure we haven't got any negatives. So let's start the car up and see if we've got any problems. Car seems to be running men, so let's get this turned off, get these all buttoned up and uh, get off to the next mission and go and see this guy and see if we can help him or help, at least help diagnose um, what this rattle is in his car. So, see you in a second. Alright, we're back. Let's just go and grab some bits. Lock that one up. Let's go and grab a couple of bits. Oh, this weather's terrible. Oh, it stops raining by the time we get there. All right, let's get in. Lock that door. Grab that bag. Leave the TT here because the weather is 
not meant. Weather's not meant, right. Out the back. Lock the door. Alright, let's go, go, go. Let's take the X5. The X5 loves a bit of bad weather. Right. See when we get to Rob's. So we've arrived at Rob's to check out this noise that he's got with his car. He's gonna tell us about it, what it's been doing and stuff, and uh, see if we can help out, scan the car, see if we can find any problems that are gonna be pretty straightforward, but let's crack on with it. And uh, Rob, just tell us the sort of noise you've been hearing. So I bought this car in early June, and since I've had it, when I drive along, lift my foot off the accelerator, I get what I can describe as a bike chain rattle type noise coming from the engine. I suspect it could be timing chain issues, um, and we think maybe even linked to the tensioner. So we're gonna plug in, see what we can find out with uh, OBD11, uh, see what's cracking. All right, sweet, so we'll start the car up now just so you can hear what the engine sounds like at the moment. So I'll bring it a bit closer, so you can pick it all up on the mic. Cool. So Rob, do you want to just start up so we can have a listen to it? <laughs> well, at the moment it doesn't sound too bad. Give it a little rev. Well, I think the best thing we can do now, we'll scan it for codes, have a look through that, we'll check the chain for stretch, and uh, go from there and see if it makes any difference just in case. It's a problem elsewhere. So, let's plug it in now and check that out. Right, so we just connected to the car. Come on, these things always take ages to connect for the first time, don't they? So Rob's, he's got the OBD11 as well, but he hasn't got the Pro version, so we don't know if the Pro version is going to pick up anything that his hasn't. Right, so we are... <laughs> Alright, so we've got three faulty control units. So let's see what we have here. We've got something for the engine, which is never good. So let's have a look. EVAP system, incorrect, purge, and that. So what we're going to do is we are going to delete all of these, just to see whether there are previous code. Have you ever deleted any of these codes, Rob? No. You've just left them. No, so these could be something from previous owner or something like that. So we'll go out of that one. And um, what else have we got here? We've got one for central electrics, which sounds one luggage apart lamp error. So you're getting your thing up from putting the LED bulb in the boot is giving you <laughs> a fault for that. Don't talk about it. <laughs> so what else have we got? There was another one here, dashboard as well. We've got a fault on the dashboard. Control module faulty for the dashboard. We don't know, really know what that is, so we're just going to delete that anyway. Because this is what we do. Because if it's anything important, it will come straight back. And to be fair, the dashboard has. Dashboard won't clear. So you've got a fault with your dashboard. Right, so now, we'll turn that all off. start it all up and see if anything comes back which I'm hoping nothing does so nothing has come back We've just got that dashboard one 
Let's go into the engine and check the chain for stretch. We're looking for anything under five degrees, preferably under four degrees is what we're really looking for. So that's channel 93. So we're banging that in there. Come on, live data. So we've got 3.63. So I think we will need to go out of the way just to hear this noise. At the moment, I don't think it sounds much different to a normal TT because of the direct injection and they're always a bit of a, a clicky, noisy sort of engine. So we do need to get that just to get out of the way, just to have a look basically, just to see if it is doing anything. But it is well within tolerance, so I'm quite happy with that. Right, so we're going to take the TT out for a ride now and just to see if uh, we can hear anything while we're actually going along. Because when we checked everything, it does seem all right. I mean, these engines are always a bit tappy, a bit noisy because of the direct injection. But Rob said there is this noise that does sound like a bicycle chain, like a you know like the game when you come off the pedals and you get that click, 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 click sort of thing. So um, we're just going out now and see if we can hear it. And hopefully it will pick up in the video and you can hear it as well. I, mean, I don't know if you guys are hearing that, but it honestly does sound like a push bike when you stop pedaling. Is it louder with the windows down mm, here in the cabin? I think it's louder with the windows down. Is it? But you've definitely got to have like a road with, with mm. it's got to be an enclosed road, like you're yeah. down a motorway, obviously. No. I might even have to jump out and let you do a drive by. I would have thought the chain noise would have been louder though. Because it's such a subtle little. Yeah, I can hear it very much on this side. Oh, can you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Let's see if we can hear it more on this side. That was quite a long one then, wasn't it? I wonder what revs the, v, uh, the valve lift kicks in. See, that's interesting. I've just noticed. So, at about one and a half thousand, I mean, I haven't heard it any higher than that. But when it drops to a thousand, that's when it stops. Does. So yeah, so as Rob was just saying there, above a thousand when you come off the throttle it comes on, but when it hits a thousand, it stops making that noise. That is so weird. But as you see when we test tested the uh, the chain there was no stretch in it. So it must just be a tensioner or the camshaft adjuster. But if I jump out and stand here. What do I jump here? If I jump out here and you just oh no, you can't I'll, I'll go I'm down a couple of times. Yeah, just see if I can hear it a bit better. I promise I won't leave you. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so so Rob's just gonna come down the road now and we're gonna see if we can hear it any any better That's so strange. I don't know if you that picked up in the camera and you not heard that. So I don't know if you heard that when we just done that drive by. Then if you could hear the chain making a little rattling noise, it's like a ticking. It's more of a ticking than a rattling. I don't know. It's weird, but it's not that much of a bad noise. So comment below what you think that noise is. If you heard anything like that. Um, I don't know. It's such a, it's a faint, but it is def there's definitely something there. What we don't know, what quite what it is, because everything's saying everything's okay, but something's not okay. I don't know if it's alternator bearings or could even be there. Wait a minute. Put your um, air conditioning on. See if it does it now.
Uh-oh. <laughs> so it's worth checking everything. So I think this is definitely going to need some further investigating to see what this is. So he's going to get it into a garage anyway and get them to have a proper good look at it. Um, it's always it's one of those things, isn't it? You don't want anything to go wrong. So the chain and tension are going to be done at one point. At least with Rob's peace of mind, he know that is done and he hasn't got to worry about that for future, which is definitely something worth doing. I mean, you've seen the money I've spent on mine. I just do everything just to bulletproof it. And I'm sure Rob just wants to do the same sort of thing now where he can just get on and enjoy the car and not have to worry about any uh, future costs coming up, apart from any cheeky little modifications that he wants to do. Oh, can you hear it now? It's such a weird noise. Right, so we've just been out for the test drive, as you've just seen, and hopefully you have heard some of the noise we were hearing. Um, so I think from now, I think Rob's gonna go and uh, go to a garage and just get that chain done, get the tensioner done, and I don't know if you're gonna do the camshaft as well. Or... Yeah, we're gonna look at doing the camshaft, at least get a quote for it, and try and get that done. And while they're under the hood, just have a look around, get as much done as possible. Peace of mind, see if it goes away. Exactly, get it done now, don't have to worry about it. Basically future proof in the car now, so you can actually get on and enjoy the car, which is what we all wanna do at the end of the day, because then the modifications can start. Um, so yeah, thanks Rob for letting us come over and have a look at this problem with you and just let our viewers know about it. But has anyone else had this noise or knows anything about this, more information than we know about it, that would be good. Just comment below and obviously remember to like because the algorithm now is all on like, so just get liking. Um, so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers Chris. Nice to meet you.